Hello, everyone. My name is Juliana. I am a fourth year industrial engineering major here at Georgia Tech. Before we get started with today's presentation, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm originally from Miami, Florida, and I have been a student here ever since my freshman year. I have been involved with the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, the Hispanic Recruitment Team, the Office for Minority Education, and the Center for Engineering Education and Diversity. My favorite thing about tech so far, though, goes beyond any of these experiences and maybe even outside of what I've learned in the classroom. And it goes to the people that I've met here. Um, at Georgia Tech, I've had the opportunity to not only meet my lifelong friends, but I've also met a, an incredible support system that has been there to push me to truly become the best version of myself. So to start things off today, um, Tech is a renowned institution, especially for its size and diversity. But even though we're a large school, there are plenty of resources here that will help you navigate it. I was actually having a conversation with my roommates the other day about the resources that we've used through our time here. And I came to the conclusion that there are three different resources that I utilize every semester. The first one is a time management workshop where I sit one-on-one -on -one with an advisor and we work through my schedule and my priorities that I have throughout the year, such as classes, on-campus jobs, and any extracurricular activities. And we prioritize everything accordingly so that I have time to be on top of all of my um, student responsibilities. And I also have time to take care of myself and go to the park, <laughs> which is my favorite thing to do here in Atlanta. Um, I also make use of the tutoring sessions. So here we have a program which lets our students have one-on-one -on -one tutoring for a specific class. So on a weekly basis, I can go to the tutor, which is a student who has done really well in this course before, and we can go through any of the topics that I might have been struggling with. And we also have group tutoring sessions, which are more in preparation for exams and quizzes, where another student in the course who has mastery on the subject or the topic prepares specific questions that we can run through to ensure that we'll be prepared for that test or quiz as well. And the last resource that I like to use of every semester is going to get professional career advice. So our individual departments here actually have the opportunity to go to someone who will look over your resume and who you can talk to about the different career paths that you can take as an engineer. And for me, at least, it's always helped clear up any questions that I have, even how I should manage myself in the workforce if I have an internship coming up. So with that, um, we are a big school and ranked high, but I would say to definitely not let that intimidate you. If I'm 100% honest with you guys, when I was looking at colleges and universities, rankings was something that I utilized to narrow down the list. Um, it made my life a little easier as a senior, and for sure my parents were happy that I wasn't looking at the 30 plus schools, but ever since I've been here in college, Rankings is something that I have not looked at more than maybe once a year when all the rankings come out. Um, I have found that the true value behind going to a top institution really boils down to the people that you meet here and the professor specifically. And for me, I've had the opportunity to see that in the classroom. Um, the first time was actually during my junior year when one of my professors was teaching us how to utilize a software that's currently used in industry. Um, and in her lecture, she was showing us a specific metric that you could get utilizing a button. And the button had a very strange name. Um, it actually, the name of the button itself that you utilize in the software was two last names put together. And, you know, I remember sitting there the whole class and thinking, it's so strange that the, the one of the last names is my professor's last name. And after the class, this was brought up and actually our professor said that it wasn't strange at all that this was actually the product of her research and that last name was indeed hers. Um, so it was really inspiring to be able, at that moment at least, to realize that the person who's teaching me as a person who's doing something that's currently used in industry by thousands of individuals, um, to just knowing that I had the opportunity to learn from the people who are truly defining um, at least for me, industrial engineering and what that is, was really inspiring. So I have found that to be honestly the big value behind going to a top ranked institution. So with that, we have 11 majors within the college. 
along with multiple minors, degree tracks, and certificates. You can also earn a master's here by extending your time at Tech by just one year. We have our BS MS program, which is a program in which as a second year, say using industrial engineer as an example, as a second year industrial engineering major, you apply to this program with just having a specific GPA. And if you get accepted in it, you will be on a pipeline that will start mixing your classes for undergrad and master's when you get to your fourth year and swapping some of those classes out. So by the time that you are fifth year here, you're graduating with an undergraduate degree and a graduate degree. Um, so my parents were actually really happy about this opportunity for me um, because it allowed me, it saved me time. And it also saved me paying an extra year's worth of tuition for master's program. Um, However, though, aside from that, I've also taken my time here um, to explore truly my different areas of interest. Maybe as many of you might have been at one point where you're unsure if there's a specific engineering that's right for you. I definitely took my time here um, to explore different areas of interest and was actually able to realize that um, through industrial engineering, I was able to merge my passions for industrial engin for engineering really and data science. Um, and I've been able to pursue a concentration within my major in data analytics as well. So definitely there's tons of opportunity here for you to find your passions and even merge them together um, so that you can use it out in the future. At the college, we definitely do more than just study. Um, I know sometimes people think that engineering students, all we do is kind of sit at home, but I promise you that's not all we do. Um, there are hundreds of programs, clubs, and groups that you can be a part of here. Um, and honestly, the coolest thing, at least that I have found in all this, is that if we don't, you can definitely go ahead and create one. Um, all you need is a couple of friends who share the same passions and you're all good to go. I personally have been very involved with the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, and that has been my jack of all trades. It's given me the opportunity to do philanthropy work, both on campus and outside of campus. It's given the opportunity to hold leadership roles. So my first year, I was part of their board of directors where I was actually, where I served as a liaison between local high schools here in the Atlanta area um, and Georgia Tech, in our Georgia Tech chapter to perform outreach programs. So that was really exciting as well. Um, and I also had the opportunity to be on their executive board as treasurer where I had the opportunity to oversee our chapter here and look over our budget and make sure that we were gathering enough funding in order to sustain all of our members and their initiatives. So that was definitely um, one of the highlights of my involvement there. I've also had the opportunity to mentor and give back through the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. So I currently serve as a mentor um, to some undergraduate students who are also studying industrial engineer, engineering and they're looking to pursue a similar professional track as I have so far. Um, but with that said though, um, outside of this specific club, there's a thousand other, there's a bunch of other ones, excuse me, um, that are not necessarily professional. So I know uh, at least one of my favorite ones, which I know me and my friends go back and forth on how my friends feel about it, but I love humans versus zombies. And that is an organization on campus that every semester, um, they set up this giant game, essentially, that goes on right here on campus where one person gets designated zombie and they wear this um, bandana around their forehead and then everyone else is a human and they wear the bandanas around their arms. And everyone's going around campus, essentially running away from the zombies themselves and the way that you could protect yourself is your marshmallows or socks and you just get a real, a really good kick out of that. Sometimes it's even like a good relief right in the middle of the day um, whenever I'm switching in between classes to see that going on on campus. So a bunch of opportunities for sure that you can take advantage of. With that though, you can also experience the world here. Um, Georgia Tech actually offers one of, um, sorry, excuse me. So Georgia Tech actually has, um, <coughs> A lot of study web programs that the majority of our engineers are taking 
at Banijo. So over half of our engineers study abroad at some point throughout their time here. One of the great things about it is that you can truly study abroad at any point. I, if I'm not mistaken, you can go as early as your second or third semester, all the way up until your last semester. I actually had a friend who did one of our study abroad programs and she got back in time right for commencement ceremony. So she was able to get the best of both worlds and still celebrate her graduation. Um, however, what's really significant and impressive about it, and I didn't even know this until much later into my career, is that this is not the average or like what's expected for any STEM um, major, really. And in most institutions, actually, only about 56% of our student, of the students are studying abroad. Um, so definitely, for me, it was an arm to have over half of our students going, but um, definitely the opportunities are not all the same. Um, we have over 100 different programs in over 100 different, 50 different cities. Uh, so our students love to be able to go and study for a couple of days and hop on a train or hop on a plane and be in a different city the next day. A lot of our programs are also taught by GC faculty. So you're still getting the same quality education that you would be getting um, as if you were here on our Atlanta campus. Um, but instead you get to travel throughout the weekends which is definitely a plus for some of our students. And of course, at Tech, we innovate. Our maker spaces are on parallel. There are actually five different ones across our campus where you can design, build, and prototype any invention that you can think of. From our state-of-the-art machine wall, machining wall to the high robotic hub in our Van Leer building. Um, one of the cool things about our maker spaces that at least I like to tell everyone is that not only can you actually do something that can change the world or build the tool that you've been thinking of, but you could also use it for your personal use. So I have, um, for example, one of my friends that she went into the makerspace and she created really cool keychains to go and give to her friend so that she could go back home during her Thanksgiving break and give it to all of her friends that she had left behind in high school. Um, so definitely you could use our maker spaces for any idea that you have in mind. And then here at Tech, you can also experience your own business. If you're anything like me, when I was growing up, I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always dream about having my own business and honestly being my own boss. Um, that might has that has changed a little bit, but it's still a long-term goal of mine. And what I've really enjoyed is that throughout my undergraduate time here, I've had the opportunity to learn. Um, just about how I can go about creating this, creating my own opportunity. Um, so we have our biggest program called CreateX. Um, and I know it can seem a bit daunting, but what I like about it is that it segments the startup journey into several phases. And I actually just embarked on the first phase last semester, <clears throat> excuse me, where I was taking a class and, and they made it, they make it into a class setting. And in that class, we learn how to generate different ideas and validate them with people and just with the overall market to see if my idea would be something that would actually sell and that there actually is a need for. Um, so for me, at least that was really helpful because the most daunting idea for me about creating a business was what, I, what million dollar idea can I come up with um, that will help me have a successful business? So definitely learning that there's a methodology that I can use um, and you know, learning from other individuals who have helped launch other startups, successful startups, was definitely something that I made sure to make use of here um, and that you can do too. You can also experience problem solving within the classroom here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And every senior has beginning by capstone, which is the senior design or really the culminating class at the end of your time here where you're putting to use everything you've learned inside and outside the classroom to solve a real world problem. What that looks like for industrial engineers is that we work with a company in teams of eight students on analyzing their current operations, figuring out areas of opportunities that can be improved upon, and then utilizing um, our theories that we've learned in the classroom and methodologies to bring about an action plan for the company to implement these recommendations and help improve their overall operations. Aside from that, though, 
You also have the opportunity to perform undergraduate research. We are a research institution, so that's really big here. Um, there's two ways that you can get involved in research. One way would be working in a typical lab setting where you can go to a professor and reach out to them either face-to-face -face or through an email, letting them know that you're interested in participating in the research that they're doing. Um, and for that, you could either get credit or actually get paid. Or you could do uh, one of our, you could do it through our virtually integrated projects, which is research in a classroom setting. So what that looks like is that you apply to be part of one of the teams that's currently here on campus. And there's the topics that you're seeing for virtually integrated projects are definitely, um, there, there's a wide variety of them. So you go ahead, you apply, and then you're going to get a permit to enroll, and you'll be working a whole semester with a group of individuals and a specific professor on tackling on um, any of these projects. So, for example, my roommate, the, the way I heard about it was actually through my roommate, and she was doing a project, and they were looking at future civilizations on Mars, and they were figuring out how could they 3D print materials and what type of materials should they be printing in order to grow a civilization on Mars if at any moment we have to get on a rocket and, and switch locations, um, which was definitely very interesting and very different to what your typical research might have sounded like. But it was still really interesting to see that that was going on here on campus. And we're still working on some of those problems. However, though, here at Tech, we also make sure that we are preparing you for life after college. Um, I have personally had the opportunity to do two internships during my time here. Um, however, we also have our co-op program. So expanding a little bit on both, um, what I had the opportunity, an internship itself, is a one semester um, rotation, or I wanna say a one semester commitment that you're doing with a company where you go work in the summer, spring or fall, and you come back and you are good to go. You continue your life as a student. Um, I've had the opportunity to do two of these, as I mentioned earlier. My first one was with a Boeing company. I did it my second year. Um, not the typical industrial engineering internship that one might think of, but definitely one that gave me tons of opportunities and experiences. So I was working with Boeing and some of its suppliers to help reduce their the overall cost of their operations and help bring help make some of these planes faster, um, which was for sure really exciting. What I liked the most about it though was that there were actually things that I hadn't learned yet in some of my classes because this was at the during my second year. Um, so coming back to classes on the fall semester, my professor was actually teaching some of the terms that I utilized in my internships. So it was really cool to be able to connect both of them. Um, the second internship opportunity I had was slightly different. I had the opportunity to do a consulting internship, management consulting specifically, where I was working based out of Seattle with, with Accenture, and I had the opportunity to help support one of our accounts by um, looking at our client that we were working with and seeing what areas of opportunities there were within the client and how Accenture could best support them. So. A completely different experience, but still gave me tons of opportunities to learn. I really appreciate that as well. Now, as far as our co-ops and what and what our co-op program really is, is that it allows you to, as a student, to commit to a company to work with them for three semesters. And what that looks like is that you say you go work for the company in the fall of your second year. You come back to Georgia Tech in the spring and take some classes, and then you go back in the summer to work with a company. And then you do that and rotate accordingly up until the end of your um, commitment period that you've signed on with the company. The commitment periods are usually three semesters that you're working for a company. However, they can vary based on who you're co-oping with. Um, the main benefit really, or what I would like, what I usually like to say about the co-ops and the internships is that determining which one's best or better for you really comes down to what kind of experiences you're looking for. So for example, an internship, what's great about an internship is that it allows you to experience different things 
and different industries. So for example, for me, I was able to do manufacturing work and also a more typical corporate management consulting role. Whereas with a co-op, you might not necessarily be getting these, this variety in experiences. However, what you'll be really learning um, about one company and you'll be truly submerging yourself in what that culture looks like. So one of my friends, he's currently doing a co-op and what he loves about it is that his first rotation, he had a standard project, but as he started coming back for other rotations, his projects were, they were a little more complex. So he had the opportunity to dive into what he considers maybe harder, like more as close to real life as you will be getting. Um, even when he was saying that he had not, he was only halfway through through his college career, he was doing real engineer's work. So um, definitely choosing which one's right for you just comes down to what kind of experiences are you currently seeking out of an internship or a co-op. And I'm guessing if you guys are like me and like all my friends, you want to get a good job after college and are thinking about what that might look like. And with that, most people that graduate from the college start uh, earn a starting salary of $72,000 a year. So that's a pretty good return on investment, which my parents were happy about and I was pretty happy about as well. So with that, we've reached the end for today's presentation. Thank you guys so much for listening in. If any questions do arise, please feel free to reach out to our admissions office. The email for that is admission at gatech.edu and it's admissions without the S.